What is up, fellow Pyro Fanatics? It's Pimp Daddy 28 here. And today I'm going to show you guys my 4th of July 2021 fireworks stash in its entirety. Well, maybe not in its entirety, but for the most part. Um, I didn't get as you know much stuff as I usually do, mainly because the uh, one underlying factor for this year is that I did not shop from WF Boom. And I think it's the first time that happened in about maybe 15 or 16 years and that was mainly due to the fact that they did not have they did not have the early bird discounts uh, for this year so i was kind of stuck uh, purchasing retail for the most part um, purchased most of my stuff from american fireworks and pyro dudes um, also purchased some collectibles some you know blockbuster stuff you know that i don't usually show on my channel um, and among other things as well a lot of shell kits um, but not too many uh, 500 gram cakes like I usually purchase. Also want to give a quick shout out to uh, Pyro Baker because he uh, he donated quite a bit of uh, 200 gram cakes to my stash this year uh, to demo and um, want to give a big shout out to him for doing that. He really didn't have to do that um, and I do uh, want to give him also another quick shout out just to you know appreciate for kind of beefing up my stash this year. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pan out real quick so I could show you guys my uh, stash for the most part for 2021. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it. It's not my entire stash. As I mentioned before, I got like way more canister shell kits uh, that I purchased this year. Um, I just didn't feel like, you know, bringing it all out and whatnot because you guys pretty much saw most of those shell kits in my canister shell comparison demo this year. And I just didn't really feel like taking all them boxes out because um, they're kind of all over the place, a bunch of different shelves and whatnot. And I just didn't feel like going through, you know, carrying upstairs, downstairs and whatnot. And it's just, you know, I didn't want it to be a big hassle. So for the most part, I just wanted to show you guys uh, my cakes. A few uh, shell kits, uh, mainly some of my favorites uh, from this year. I'm not showing any of the uh, Blockbuster stuff in my demo, because I, I my, my stash update, should I say, because I never show that stuff on my channel for the most part. Um, so that's pretty much off to the side. Um, I do have a, a show-in-the-box cake, uh, though, that I will show you guys uh, at some point in this uh, little uh, stash update. All right, uh, we're going to start off on the left over here with some 200 gram cakes. We got uh, Gnomes by Hardcore Pyro. Uh, gosh, how many shots is this cake? It is a 16 shot cake. I forgot to mention that. I do apologize. Um, also got the Backyard Perfection by Dominator. And this is a, I believe it's a nine, 19 shot cake. Yep, 19 shot cake. Um also got Silent Hill, and I believe that's also by Hardcore Pyro, and it's a 16-shot cake. And over here we got Miles of Smiles. Uh, this is by Raccoon, and I believe this is a 10-shot cake. Could be wrong. Uh, actually, it's a 13-shot cake. I right, just wanted to be accurate with it. All right, and down here we got Neon Green. It's about... Somewhere between 200 and 350 gram cake uh, by Magnus Fireworks. And it is a 10 shot cake. And down here we got Willow King by Raccoon Fireworks. This is a 500 gram cake. And this is a 7 shot cake. Up here we got the Wild West Classic by Brothers. 25 shot cake. And over here we got Empire, which is a 25 shot cake by Planet X Fireworks. And down here we got uh, Neon Goblin, a 9-shot cake by Pyro Diablo, along with Crockbite, another Pyro Diablo cake, and that's also a 9-shot cake. Also got the Neon Eagle, 9 shots by Pyro Diablo, and Noisemaker, which is a 12-shot cake by Pyro Diablo. All right, I uh, got some 500-gram cakes here. We got the Mega Red Peony and mine. It's a zigzag cake. This is by Neon Fireworks. It's a 25-shot cake. Next, we got Hazmat by Raccoon Fireworks. That's a 25-shot cake. And we also got Neon Shake by Winda. And that's a 25-shot cake. More than likely, this cake is going to be going into our Pyro Musical for this year. 
uh, mainly because we were, it's been pretty uh, slim pickings trying to find 1.4 Pro product this year. Any Anybody that had any to sell it was pretty much leftover stock from last year. Nobody brought anything this year, so I kind of have to make do with uh, one regular consumer 1.4 Pro to include in our Pyro Musical for this year. All right, uh, down here we got a very powerful cake called Juggernaut by Brothers, and this is a 15-shot cake. All right, up here we got a 200-gram cake uh, called Nanotech, and it's by Machine Made Fireworks, and this is a... Gosh, I'm trying to find out the number of shots on this cake. It is a 19-shot cake. All right, and uh, down here we got a uh, neon carrot by pyro planet it's a 12 shot cake and over here we got a 500 gram cake called fish tails by raccoon and this is a 16 shot cake all right then uh, down here we got a whole case of spotlight by bright star this is a, a nine shot cake and uh, it's actually one of the few cases uh, we were able to get for this year um, american fireworks uh, I got this. I think I got all my cases from American Fireworks this year. Um, they had uh, some cases available for certain items earlier on in the year, and then as the year pretty much went along, you know they were pretty much strictly selling retail, and uh, they weren't really selling uh, uh, too many items by the case. All right, uh, next we got TMI. Too much information by uh, Magnus. This is a 25 shot cake. All right, then uh, next we got another 200 gram cake called Aggression by Raccoon Fireworks, and that's a 25 shot cake. And over here we got another 200 gram cake called Lumen. This is a 24 shot cake, and it's by Hardcore Pyro. And below that we got a 350 gram cake called Spawn Kill. Um, don't know the number of shots on this cake. I think uh, I couldn't find out online either, so it's kind of like a, a guess, so to speak. If I had to guess, I'd probably say somewhere between 15 and 20 shots, but I, again, I could be wrong. Um, at any rate, uh, next we got a 500 gram cake called Lucky One by Magnus, and this is a nine shot cake. This is a pretty powerful cake. All right, next we got the uh, Elvis Presley 500 gram cake assortment. You get four in a case. First one here is called Hey, 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 36 shot by Brothers. The second one is uh, Starting the Night, 36 shot by Brothers. And the third one is uh, Come On Everybody, uh, 36 shot by Brothers. And finally, uh, That's All Right, 36 shot by Brothers. All right, over here we got a box of uh, artillery shells called Il Separatio. Uh, this is by Dark Knight. You get 12 shells in the box. Down here we got the Ultimate Power Artillery Shell Kit by Winda. Uh, some pretty good ball shells. You get 12 in a box. Down here we got the uh, Excalibur Platinum by World Class. Uh, one of my favorite shell kits from uh, this year that I purchased. All right, and up here we got a 200 to 350 gram cake called Rhapsody by Brothers, and this is a 14 shot cake. All right, let me take this vinyl nameplate away here so I could show you guys this cake. Uh, this one is called Agent of Boom by Bright Star, and this is a 37 shot cake. I almost didn't see that. All right, next we got uh, a Pro Cake, uh, 1.4 Pro Cake. It's uh, This one's just from the 76 Pro line. It is a 20-shot uh, finale box, Humming Snakes to Brocade Crown, and it's an instant. It's basically all the shots go up at once. So uh, definitely can't wait to see what that one looks like uh, up close. All right, next we got uh, another 500-gram cake called Patriotic Dominance by Dominator. It's a classic. Uh, for that brand, uh, it's a 10 shot cake. Definitely recommend this cake for anyone who's interested in Dominator cakes. And uh, down here, we got a whole case of Galactic Empire by Raccoon. And uh, this is a 21 shot cake. All right, uh, next, we got an artillery shell kit by Hardcore Pyro. This is called Tiger Tails and Whistles Combo. 
Uh, there's six shells in this uh, shell kit. I don't know if it's a half and half, like half tiger tails, half whistles, or if it's like where one of those things where all the artillery shells have both of these effects. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, next we got the uh, Cutting Edge uh, Liberty Artillery Shell by Cutting Edge Fireworks. You get 12 uh, assorted ball shells. And down here, another one of my favorite shell kits for, uh, from this year, the Growler Shells by uh, World Class. Shout out to Daniel's Power Universe for giving me the shell kit. All right, up here we got uh, a 200 gram cake called Peekaboo, uh, 25 shot cake by World Class. All right, uh, down here we got another 200 gram cake. Uh, this one's called Monkey Business by Raccoon Fireworks, and this is a 24 shot cake. And down here uh, we got another 200 gram cake. This one's called Silver Screen by Brothers, a classic cake for that brand. Uh, it's a 35 shot cake. And down here, we got about maybe a 350 gram cake. Uh, this one's called Zomboy. And this is by uh, Zombie Brand Fireworks. And trying to find the number of shots on here. I think it's on the side right here. It's a six shot cake. You don't usually see that number for a big cake like this, but six shots. Usually it's seven. I figured it'd be seven, but eh, six shots it is. <laughs> All right, uh, next we got a cake uh, from the Marilyn Monroe Signature Series. Uh, this one is called Bombshell by Brothers, and this is a 49-shot cake, a pretty long-lasting cake from the video that I remember uh, watching uh, for this cake. All right, down here we got a whole case of the Mammoth Red Strobe by Dominator, one of the more popular uh, cakes under the Mammoth Series. Um, and this is a 9-shot cake, or sorry, 10-shot cake. I apologize. This is a 10-shot cake. I definitely recommend this cake if uh, any of you guys love the, the red color. All right, and uh, up here we got a 200-gram cake called Color Storm by Raccoon, and this is a 19-shot cake. Down here we got uh, another 200-gram cake called Rebellion by uh, Planet X Fireworks, and this is a 25-shot cake. Now over here we got a 500 gram cake called Shebang by Tiger Tooth Fireworks, and this is a 16 shot cake. And uh, down here we got a whole case of Willow Combustion by Raccoon Fireworks, and I believe this is a 9 shot cake. Alright, uh, over here we got some more 200 gram cakes. Uh, first we got uh, Ghastly by Zombie Brand Fireworks, uh, this is an 18 shot cake. And over here, uh, we got uh, Joker by Raccoon Fireworks, and this is a 20-shot cake. I believe it's 20 shots, yep. And uh, down here, we got Nice Rack <laughs> by uh, Pyro Demon Fireworks, and this is a 12-shot cake. And over here, we got Kick-Ass by Pyro Demon Fireworks, and this is also a 12-shot cake. Next, we got another 200 gram cake called Third Base by Pyro Demon Fireworks, and this is also 12 shots. And finally, we got Mic Drop by Pyro Demon Fireworks, and this one is also a 12 shot cake. All right, down here we got some 500 gram cakes. First, we got uh, Midnight Howling, and uh, this is by Magnus, and it is a 35 shot cake. All right, uh, down here we got another 500 gram cake by Raccoon Fireworks. This one's called Color Rage, and this is a 30 shot cake. And down here we got uh, another 500 gram cake. This one's called Rio Classic by Winda Fireworks. This is a 25 shot cake. And finally, down here we got uh, a 500 gram cake called Boom by Brothers, and this is a 30 shot cake. All right, over here, we got another uh, Gnomes 200-gram uh, cake by Hardcore Pyro, and this is 16 shots. We got the uh, XOXO by World Class, and this is a 19-shot cake. All right, then uh, down here, we got another 200-gram cake. This one's called Squirrely by Smoking Alien, and this is a 16-shot cake. And down here, we got... Uh, 200 gram cake called Nighthawk by Cutting Edge, and this is a 25 shot cake. And uh, down here, we got another 200 gram cake. This one's called Pirate Captain 
by Raccoon Fireworks, and this is 21 shots. And uh, down here we got Peeps Pick, 200 gram cake by Brothers, and this is a 35 shot cake. And finally, we got a 350 gram cake, maybe somewhere between 350 and 500. Uh, this one's called Bug Out. And this is by Zombie Brand Fireworks, and it is a 16 shot cake. All right, then uh, on the floor over here, picked up uh, a couple of packs of rockets as well. This one's called Piglet by Shotgun Fireworks. And the second one is called Radioactive Rockets. And uh, both of them are very good performing rockets. I don't plan on demoing these rockets this year. I, I plan on saving both packs uh, for my uh, Skyrocket comparison that I plan on doing for next year. And uh, I'm hoping I could uh, also end up getting cases of either of these rockets. Couldn't really find a case this year because, you know, with the, the situation in China, not too many uh, people are offering wholesale right now. And so it is what it is. All right, so got some of my uh, favorite uh, shell kits that I purchased this year. Got the Neon Beef by Winda, 5-inch cans. Got these 6-inch uh, King Dragons by Raccoon Fireworks. Got these 6-inch uh, Mammoth Shells by Taco Pyrotechnics. Also got these uh, Double Break 6-inch Shells called Pack and Heat by Brothers. I really was impressed by these. They were really good. Definitely recommend them. And also these uh, Big Daddy 5-inch uh, canister shells by Pyro Diablo. All right, so real quick, I wanted to show you guys uh, this 180-shot uh, show in a box that I picked up. This is, you know, for all of you that are familiar with this cake, this one's been ar uh, around for a few years now. It's not like a new cake or anything like that, but it's uh, definitely a, a very good cake, as is the case with all uh, show-in-a-box cakes. Um, obviously I was, uh, definitely looking very hard for, uh, showing a box cake because, you know, they're very hard to come by this year because, you know, people are not bringing stuff over because of the situation with China and the shipping and whatnot. So I was definitely glad I was able to get, uh, this cake, uh, early on, uh, before they sold out. So, uh, definitely, uh, this will be the uh, fake finale for, uh, this year. All right, real quick, I wanted to go over some of the, uh, 1.4 Pro stuff that I have. Uh, still had some leftover from last year um, and also was able to pick up a, a little bit more this year. Uh, picked up most of my uh, the cake slices that I needed from uh, Pyro Dudes. Um, they were one of the few uh, stores that I know of that still had some 1.4 Pro left. Now, I don't know if they have any more left right now, but you know if any of you guys are interested in getting 1.4 Pro, Pyro Dude still has a little bit left, more than likely. So I definitely would take advantage uh, if you are in desperate need of 1.4 Pro product. Also uh, got all this uh, fused up here, some uh, single shot shells and some comets and whatnot. Um, also, there's a second box underneath uh, also fused up and ready to go. It just needs to be set up in the field and whatnot. All right, so uh, that is pretty much it. I want to wish everybody a happy and safe 4th of July. You know, I know it's been a rough year, you know, with all the crap that's going on in China and whatnot. But uh, here's hoping that uh, this, uh, everything will get back to normal by, uh, hopefully by this fall, from what I'm hearing. If not this fall, definitely by next year. And uh, as for my fellow uh, Buckeye Pyros out there, you know, this looks to be the last year of uh, misery for us. Uh, in terms of letting off fireworks, you know, with uh, one eye, you know, behind looking behind our backs, and uh, definitely, uh, hopefully, after this year, we don't we don't need to do that anymore. As it looks like uh, the laws are definitely going to finally change here in Ohio, and we're going to be able to light off fireworks without having to worry about any nosy neighbors uh, calling the cops on us. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, once again, have have a happy and safe Fourth of July, and I will see you guys next time.